Ashanti do not read no signs. It say beach this way and she kept straight. Being that we're traveling the Gulf Coast, we had to work a state park in for you state park lover. Ooh. All right, check this out. All right. For all you state park lovers, this park is called Top Sales. All right, it's a state park right along the coast as well. Hour away from our last location, our last week video is only hour away. But anyway, this is it. Look, look at it. Nice palm trees everywhere. And it's reasonable. I think we only pay like $45 a night for this site. But they say it's hard to get during the weekend. So if you do plan to travel in this area, come during the week. But anyway, I gotta hurry up and put out our chairs, put out, set everything up, cause we, there's supposed to be a, a thunderstorm. We're not looking forward to that because this park is a nice, beautiful park. I can hear the thunder in the background right now as I talk. So this is a nice, beautiful park. I wish that we can go exploring it, but that don't look like it's going to happen today. Close rain tomorrow, but we're still going to get out and still explore this park. But anyway, this is it. Every site is secluded. You got your own space, your own personal space. I like it. I like it. Everyone that I talked to in this area asked me, did you guys check out Top Sale? We kept hearing about Top Sale. So we were thinking like, what's so big about Top Sale? It's a state park. I see what's so big about it. It's one of the best looking state parks since we've been in Florida. We only went to one other, but this park is very nice. It's along the panhandle. So of course you know that already. Look at this. We gotta take you guys around. Nice big spaces. Plenty of room, plenty of room. That's one thing that the private parks don't offer is plenty of room. This park has all that. It checks all the boxes. Plus it has a beach. <laughs> without using jugs of water or needing to go ahead and boil my water so I'm gonna go ahead and make some red beans and rice I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my crock pot um, I got some smoked turkey uh, drumsticks that I'm gonna put in the crock pot and I'm going to use this water out of the faucet that I normally would not use at all you guys so doing the research and even the smell test and the taste test of their product um, which is one of the main reasons why we wanted someone with a great filtration center um, I'm gonna now start cooking with it so I'm excited. Thank you, No Dirty Water. Uh, no more paying for jugs of water. Uh, no more uh, using bottled water when needing to cook with. And also the fact that uh, 
eventually it's going to pay off itself. So if you're looking at the price point of it, you shouldn't because if you are continuously buying jugs of water and water bottles and you're using them to wash your mead or to cook with, problem solved. So guys, we are having red beans and rice and I've got my smoked meat in there and uh, I'm gonna put some sausage to it and got some cornbread for you. So we are about to go and enjoy this day. Today is my off day, you guys. So I am thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying this moment where, listen, can you hear it? No cars, no loud noises. I'm not at home, I'm here. Soon I'll be sitting right there. Peace, right there. You cannot, cannot beat that. For any amount of money in the world, just having peace, having your own peace and quiet and living in the moment. I'm gonna take you on this ride with us. Did you try to tighten up the boat or something? No, I didn't try anything. I was bringing it to you for you to fix it for me. So, <laughs> one thing that we like about our electric bike is that it folds up. We have shared this bike with so many individuals and we have basically helped sell these bikes as well. So, as you see, this is the step through. And what do they call this right here, babe? It's not the step through, but is it the men's bike? And this is the woman's bike? Is that how that goes? Um, oh, that's how it goes, by the way. I'm sorry, he can't multitask. I can. But yeah, that's, <laughs> this is a step through, that one not. Okay. I wouldn't say which one of a men or the other one is a woman. Right, because we've seen men with the step through bike but, but there was always i know when i was growing up i always seen women get the bikes that had the step through and men got the, the regular straight across bar right that was a man's bike right so we but, like our bike so far but think the way things is the way things changing hey it may be a unisex bike right so everyone we passed so far has spoken. And that's without me speaking first. Everybody here is just so friendly. This is a nice, beautiful park, tropical. Hear the birds chirping in the background. Look at the scenery. Birds everywhere. Kids out playing. I can understand why people prefer state parks over private parks. So we're gonna go ahead and lock up our bikes with our electric bike lock. We wanna keep everybody honest, right? All right? Let me see your key again. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look at that. All right. Then do the other one. Huh? Now you gotta just do our other bike. Lock. Yeah, it's locked already. No, where's yours? I don't need it. It's not going nowhere. Look, I got two tires locked up. And it, it get it out of here. You gotta. No, it's not going nowhere. So you're just gonna go ahead and leave your key in? No, I got yours out, so I have to get mine out too. Okay. It's getting hot. Hey. This weather is so unpredictable. Um, Look how the sun came came out. It was it was uh, predicted to rain around 10 o'clock this morning. Each hour, they changed the forecast. So now um, it's 12 o'clock. They got it at one o'clock. Come two o'clock, they're gonna have it at three o'clock. The rain still. So they don't even know what the forecast is gonna be here.
don't have on the right clothes for the beach and we decided that we want to do the beach today it is nice over there nice and breezy so we are going back to get our little red wagon loaded up with our beach chairs umbrella and come back over here and enjoy our day we did promise you guys sunshine and beaches and a beverage so picture you're here so you guys since we've started camping i would have to say my most favorite couple of things is meeting great people eating great food seeing so many different adventures or having so many different adventures and also seeing the beautiful land that we stay in those are my top favorite things about camping if you're a camper or if you're a traveler or an adventure person please share with us a couple of things that you like i would love to hear about them Check all this out. This state park is nice. It has to be one of the best state parks I've been to. I mean, all the sites are nice. All the sites are neat, clean. I mean, when it comes to the bushes, the trees, everything is nice. It feel like we're in the middle of a jungle or something. But anyway, we're up early because we was actually supposed to be leaving today to go to Destin, Destin Beach RV Resort. But for some reason, our reservation got canceled, which is cool. We're, 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 we're not mad because it got canceled because we get another day to stay at this park. We actually really like this park. We heard so much about this park. So, guys, what I want to share with you. When you're trying to make reservations, say you want to go to a park and stay for like two to three days. Sometimes those parks don't have availability for those two to three days on one site. So what you should do is call that campground, ask that campground, like, hey, we want to stay for these two days. Can you get us on a site for one day and we'll switch site for the other two days? Or can you get a site a site for two days and we'll switch sites for the other third on the third day? Because being that everybody these campgrounds are getting overwhelmed and getting packed, sometimes you're gonna to have to compromise. It's gonna be us that have to compromise and be willing to change sites. I know that we like get we, we like once we get to a site, we like getting settled in, putting out all our stuff and 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 being you know enjoying the park but we can't do that now so what you got to do now and what we're learning to start doing is to put out less we still put out our chairs and our table and we got to put out the plants because you know the plants need sunlight but we take our bikes out but that's it we can't we can't go all overboard and, and set up a whole kitchen like we used to do we can't do all that no more so you got to consider that sometimes you may not want to put out a rug so we got this small rug because it's easy it's easy to um to take out and put up so we've been using this so you got to keep that in mind guys let me share my setup what i do when we have to move the very next day from the site that we're on all right only thing I hook up is the electric. That's it. That's the only thing that stays hooked up. As far as the water, even in the sewer, even though I am on the full hookup, I would not hook up the water. Less things I got, I got out, the less thing I have to put up the next day. 
So I do not hook up the water, but I do put water in my city water tank. Okay, I do put it in the in in, in the city water connection. All right, and I do use my no dirty water filter. I will be talking about this later on in the video. I think you guys, this is a good product to invest in. I do use that, and what I do is I store water in my tanks for the first day that I'm there. That way I don't have to worry about the breakdown. Once I take the hose out, I fill my tank up and put the hose back. So no breakdown over here. Only thing you're, you're taking apart over here is your electric. Now, as far as the other side, like I said earlier, only thing I put out really is chairs. I put out chairs. I put out, I put out the plants because she like carrying plants with us. Even though I'm the green thumb, I have to take care of them. She like to bring the plants with us. But as far as the chairs, the grill, and the bikes, that's the only thing that come out. So it makes the next day breakdown much easier. Now it's time to change sites. This is a nice site here. Nice, deep, with extra patio. Scenic, and you have a little bit of shade. Cannot beat that with a stick. Good job, town. Nice wooded area again this part is big rig friendly I want to take this opportunity to talk about a water filter that we have been using for the past month. Yeah. All right. It took testing us testing it out. Testing it out. It actually took us a while to talk about this water filter because before we endorse anything and put our name on it, we want to make sure that it is what it is. All right. So we have here a no dirty water filtration system. Um, it, it consists of three canisters, all right? The technology, the filter that it uses is the blue technology filters. So Shanti, what you think? So Shanti, she's very picky when it comes to water. If, he, if you've been watching our videos, Shanti don't like it being in grass. She don't like touching doors. And she's real funny with everything. So I want to ask Shanti, what do she think about the low, about the no dirty water? So for one, just like Talmadge stated, um, I am very funny. So I was buying bottled waters. I was buying jugs of water. With this filtration center here, uh, it has a canister for safety, tasty, and longevity. I like this because now I can drink out of the faucet and I can cook with the water that comes out of the faucet. It doesn't have a smell and the taste is just like drinking uh, water that you buy from the store so that means i do not have to go out buy jugs of water water bottles or anything like that because we can actually drink from our own faucet all right yeah. so this water filter like it comes in a carbon fiber frame it has stainless steel coming in stainless steel containers to um for the filters two quick connects on both sides so it's very quick to hook this up. I usually, being that we have a travel trailer, I actually keep it up under the travel trailer, hook my two hoses up to it, and we're, we're in business. Also, look at the nice sleek design, which is nice. And guess what? It probably weighs it's eight light. to 10 pounds, so it's, it's light. super light, and it's very durable. And then on top of that, think about it when it's being kept out in extreme 
uh, weather conditions such as snow, rain, and the sunshine is still always protected. So guys, before we was buying water filters from Walmart, the little blue water filters, we never used the water. Even though we went out and purchased those water filters, we still didn't trust the water that actually yeah. was coming from the park's water, water source. But you still have to buy filters, but the fact that their filters are small, so, so when you're uh, looking at the water and you're trying to get all the uh, elements out of it or the the uh, residue, theirs is um, a 0 0.2 where typically other manufacturers use a 0 0.5 or larger. Yeah. So, so it has three systems that the water actually has to go through instead of one system, yeah. in other words. So we are happy with it. We endorse this filter. Check out our description box because you get 10% off from following the Venture Bandits. And if you want one of these water filters, it's worth the investment. No more waters, no yeah. more water bottles, we agree? No more water jugs or bottles. Jugs or bottles. Unless we take a water bottle and we can fill it up with that. Exactly. And take it on some long walks. So you're probably also gonna say, wow, that's an expensive product. But if you go ahead and if you add up all of the packs of the water bottles that you're buying, cases, and all the water jugs, this basically pays for itself and it's a last longing uh, piece of equipment that you take camping and I do believe you can also use it at home You can too. use it at home. So. And if I believe, actually before we actually re reviewed this, I went online and I, and, I, and I watched videos of the, the owners that actually made this water filter and they actually took it to ponds. They drunk out of ponds with this water filter. All right, so. and, and if they can drink out of a, of a pond, we can drink out the faucets that come at these parks yeah. with this water filter. Yep. And what's also interesting is that you're able to take it to multiple parks and and uh, tie into the different uh, city waters and it's never going to change. You're always going to have this to protect you. That good water. That good water. Check out the description box, guys. So guys, to get to the beach from the campground, you got about a mile long trail. But it's paved though. That's the thing to do here. You put your chairs on your back and you roll to the beach. Look at her. Ashanti do not read no signs. It say beach this way and she kept straight. And she don't listen when you yell for her, she don't listen. You didn't hear me calling you? That's why I say I should leave. <laughs> You see what I go through? You see what I got to deal with? <laughs> well, you got to know it all as a wife. They refuse to be wrong and say they're wrong. Look. You guys caught anything? You did? What'd you catch? How long have you been out here? Oh shit, it's about 10 o'clock this morning. 10 o'clock this morning? There's two of them in there. Oh, they big. Yeah, they are pretty big. Oh. So what does pompano taste like? Is it it's sweet? uh, it's very dense. It's not flaky. It's a, it's a dense fish. Uh huh.
out to our next adventure. This was a beautiful site, Site 157. We will definitely be back here again. Again, the park is big rig friendly, has beautiful clean bath houses. Take a look. Wow, not bad at all. For a state park, just cleaned it. Nice. Stalls. This access to the beach. Uh -huh. And then you bring your drone back. Many, many bike trails, many, many walking trails. This has got to be one of the best state parks I've ever been to. Beautiful state park. See, not only we do the resorts, we do the state parks as well. And just a host of things to do around you. And on top of that, they have a general store. They have just like literally so much to do here. If you're ever in the area, Topsoil State Park in Florida is a great place to come and camp, rest, relax. It's very hard to get into. So thank you, Terry, and thank you, Tom, for suggesting this for us. Guys, we have arrived at our next destination. This is our first time ever here and uh, we found this by doing a lot of research but we heard and uh, we were looking at all of the reviews and so far great looking park so welcome.